the question of how do I get rid of it and and get into dollars or what have you, uh, that's it, it's absolutely 180 degree thinking is what it is. Yeah, it, it appears that they have signed uh, a long term deal. Uh, for Saudi Arabia to supply oil to China. Um, the question is going to be, how does China pay for that? Are they going to pay for it in dollars? I, I highly doubt that. Um, this, is, this is more than a dent or a ding in the demand for dollars. Uh, should, you know, should China uh, and Saudi Arabia do the deal, do it in yuan, do it in gold, what have you. Uh, and one other, there's another country, uh, Ghana, is looking to buy oil using gold. So I think these are these are a couple of events showing that the, the dollar is moving away from reserve currency status. And I think it does show that gold is coming back into the system. There's over uh, $80 trillion worth of derivatives outstanding on uh on the dollar itself, forex, foreign exchange uh, derivatives. And that was a warning issued by the Bank for International Settlements. So uh, to answer your question, yeah, we are in a tumultuous time. It, it is centering uh, around f uh, foreign, ex you know, foreign uh, exchange, currency exchange. Uh, and it, whether it starts with the, in the FX market or or whether it starts in the credit markets, or even if it starts in the derivatives market, it's going to end up in the derivatives markets, which you're looking at over a two quadrillion dollar market. They can't, they can never be paid back. Um, they cannot perform just because they're larger than the system itself is. So I think that's a good description, uh, game of musical chairs in the dark. I mean, we experienced that here in Texas two years ago. And, you know, they're wanting to rely on windmills that freeze in the wintertime. And they actually use more energy keeping them uh, from freezing than they produce. Uh, when I speak, I'm another in green energy, I mean, look at Europe, look at Germany. Um, you, you're going to have you, you've had huge movements upward in price of energy in order to heat during winter time. There are many people that can't even afford it. Uh, uh, so, I mean, that's that's one example right there. I mean, there's such a long list. Uh, were, the, were the vaccinations uh, a benefit to the people? No, what, it, what you're seeing is the population is being culled. Uh, the immigration policy in Europe, uh, the, you know, the financial, monetary policy of the West. What did they do? They got the entire system completely over indebted, uh, more indebted than on any ratio you want to look at in all of history. And what are they doing now? They're ramming interest rates higher. And what does that do? That's going to pop the debt bubble. Uh, I mean, there's such a, that that's such a broad, a broad question. I mean, we could go on for an hour on that, but suffice it to say that uh, 95% or more of the policies being put forth are not for the people's benefit. It's for the control of the people. The vast majority of people watching or listening to this consider themselves libertarian. And really, to me, what that means is you basically want to be self-sufficient. You want basic services from your government, but you want your government, you want your neighbors you just want to be left alone and do for yourself and be self-reliant. Now that leads to uh, my advice to people is become as self-reliant as possible, whether that's uh, energy, electricity, whether that's clean water, whether that's food, what have you. You want to be as self-reliant as you possibly can. Going another step further from a financial standpoint, you want as few intermediaries between you and your money as possible. Uh, and I think I think I mentioned this on, on your channel before, Dunnigan. Uh, 
I have lots of mining stocks, but I have almost all of the certificates. And the reason I've done that is because when your broker goes bankrupt, even in normal times, it could take three to five years for you to get access to your shares. Whereas if you have them in hand and your broker's gone down, if there's another broker up or whenever the system does come back up, uh, you've got the certificates in hand, you can deposit them and liquidate them. So just, just try to be as self-sufficient as you can self-reliant and and you you don't want uh you don't want entities between you and your capital um i've always recommended somewhere between five and ten thousand dollars in cash cash uh you don't want it in hundred dollar bills you want it in twenty dollar bills and my advice would be once the banks do close you want to spend that pretty quickly because People are going to figure out once the system goes down that they're just pieces of paper, that they really don't have any value. And after, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks, something like that, the sentiment will be, hey, I'm not giving you eggs or I'm not giving you gasoline or I'm not giving you anything real for pieces of paper. So dollars will more than likely go to a, a significant premium for a week to two weeks. In other words, the buying power will increase. But once people figure out that they don't want to give something real for something that's just a piece of paper with ink on it, then the purchasing power will collapse and they will be uh, unacceptable. I've done, if you want to call it, a, you know, walking surveys, go to a farmer's market, or if I come across a farmer, I will ask, uh, when things go bad, will you accept silver? And most of them get a, a pretty big grin and they say, yeah, of course, we would prefer. And actually, I've heard several say that they'd prefer uh, prefer silver. That saves them having to turn the dollar bills into sil uh, silver. It's already done for them. They're not understanding that gold and silver themselves are money. Um, if you go back, uh, go back 100 years, dollar bills were derivatives of gold. Uh, silver certificates were derivatives of silver. So the mindset, how do I get rid of it? That's not going to be the problem. What's going to happen is once this thing goes down, the demand for gold and silver is just going to explode because people are going to figure out, hey, everything has bankrupted and I want something that can't bankrupt. And the only two monies that cannot bankrupt are gold and silver. So just understand that gold and silver themselves, in fact, are money, monies, have been money for 5,000 years. And the question of how do I get rid of it and, and get into dollars or what have you, uh, that's, it, it's absolutely 180 degree thinking is what it is.